People are wishing the president just does executive orders because their bills are overdue. Their bills are overdue. Daughter's birthday is Saturday and Sunday, and here we are at the weekend. People can't even give their children a birthday party. People are just asking, where is the check? <laughs> But before we start, please make sure to subscribe to the Stimulus Check Update Lighthouse Alert Community and hit the bell so you never miss an upload from us. Also, leave a like right now. All right. What's going on, everybody out there? It's Pure Excellence here. You know, uh, if you're new to this community, you are invited to subscribe and hit that like button. Now, this is your stimulus check update and news alerts for today. Uh, Nancy Pelosi, leader of the Democrats in the House of Representatives and Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin, they claim that they will continue the stimulus plan negotiations, you know, today. And uh, Pelosi and Mnuchin, they spoke the other day at 3 p.m. for 53 minutes. This is documented, folks. They spoke for a whole exact 53 minutes. You would think that the American people getting money, they could have spoke for exactly 60 minutes, but they cut it short for seven minutes, folks. And they said, we're going to speak exactly 53 minutes. And that may be for good reason, because Pelosi spokesperson Drew Hamill stated that they have actually advised their personnel to work around the clock to reconcile their differences because they have irreconcilable differences. Chief of Personnel Mark Meadows stated that the Republicans have actual, actually a little increased their stimulus package offer to $1.9 trillion. So it's still at that $1.9 trillion, which is still short of the $2.2 trillion. For some reason, that extra point two points or extra three points, because two point two that's, that's three points, they can't get to that. Something's holding them back from meeting Nancy at that $2.2 trillion. And something's holding Nancy at that $2.2 trillion and not being able to split the difference and just get this thing done. Something's happened, folks. You know, that $2.2 trillion that the Democrats are asking for. The Republicans, they're not able to meet that just yet. You know, the senators, they are expected to vote on the standalone bill, of course. And, you know, they're trying to get that second round of PPP and, you know, uh, money to small businesses and then the unemployment thing happening. They're trying to get that done. You know, the Senate, they will be voting on another standalone bill, uh, they're saying this week. So we'll look to see that. You know, the third and final governmental argument that will, you know... The third and final debate was held on Thursday and President Trump was petitioning, you know, uh, to have the third debate, you know, focus on diplomacy since, uh, Biden's, you know, history on diplomacy was just hard. So he wanted to really talk a lot about diplomacy in that debate. You know, Joe Biden was saying that President Trump wants to concentrate on foreign policy due to the fact that Trump wished to prevent discussing his failures for properly managing COVID-19 and the circumstances that we're in right now, folks. So it's, uh, it's a fight to the finish, you know, and it seems like the, uh, focus is off of, uh, what's happening with the money what's happening so people can pay their bills you know in the uk you know they were uh now intentionally in infecting candidates with COVID 19 for stage three clinical trials uh you know they're calling this uh, the human trial obstacle you know we reported recently that johnson and johnson you know it, they paused their stage three clinical trial since one of their prospects experienced an unexplained disease so it's actually dangerous out here for you know uh, with, with COVID-19 still, folks, um, you know, take it not light. Uh, you know, the business and the FDA, you know, they still refuse to divulge the information on what occurred, which is adding to the lack of trust and the lack of transparency, you know, when it concerns COVID-19 vaccines. Now, Peter Hotez, you know, the vaccine scientist at Baylor College, College of Medication or Medicine, you know, said that for this upcoming winter season, people are going to feel abandoned, you know, like the government just gave up on them. You know, they're going to feel on their own. You know, this is going to to be the worst and, and, and one of the darkest chapters in, you know, modern day American history. You know, this is what the vaccine scientist at Baylor College was quoted saying, you know, that this is just going to be a dark winter. You know what I'm saying? Now, President or well, Vice President Biden, he actually said something similar in the debate, you know, uh, but this is your, this is your news today, folks. You know, one of the one of Nancy Pelosi's uh, help stated that Pelosi and Mnuchin, you know, continue to narrow down their differences. And Chief of Personnel Mark Meadows stated that by narrowing their differences on a variety of concerns, Concerns, the Republican stimulus package presently stands at $1.9 trillion. Just as I said, you know, Meadows stated that Pelosi is very rigid on her negotiations and that her attitude is all or nothing. Uh, so they're taking those shots at one another, you know, Nancy Pelosi in the press, you know, so I don't know what they're saying to each other, you know, in the rooms, but when they get to the press, they're taking those shots. He's saying she rigid and she's saying that he's, uh, uh, you know, this and that. And Nancy Pelosi is presenting holding firm at her ask of $2.2 trillion. You know, Pelosi says that her top priorities include 
more money for state and local governments, state and city governments. So she's still on that. So that, that's where the extra three points, that's what that's for. You know, she's looking to give three points, three whole points to state and city governments. Um, <laughs> You know, adjustments on how cash will be invested for COVID tests and more tax credit for lower earning households and the elimination of, you know, uh, liability defenses. You know, that's that's also included in there. But, you know, state and local governments, you know, please remember uh, the Nancy Pelosi stated that the politicians, they require to reach an agreement, you know, of course, by the end of Wednesday. But that's coming on, you know, and Pelosi and Mnuchin, they worked out for, you know, they worked out in that room. They worked out for a whole 53 minutes on this national problem the other day and that happened on Monday but you know there are still considerable areas of disputes standing in you know the method of an offer or standing in the way of the offer you know what I'm saying which uh, their personnel will continue to work you know all through the night to get through these differences these differences they gotta get they gotta get through them now folks I mean Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell says that if Pelosi and Mnuchin reach an arrangement and an agreement then he will put it put it up for vote like I said and uh, just like I said he, he'll put it up for vote you know what I'm saying I mean he, he not guaranteeing that it'll be passed and that it won't die on arrival, but he'll put it up for vote. So he's just making promises. We'll see. You put in the comments what you think about this, folks. I mean, in the meantime, the Senate, they prepared a, you know, they prepared to vote on the standalone bill for the second round of PPP. You know, businesses are, you know, they're trying to get their bid in too. Um, some of the small businesses, a lot of people, you know, we're not just American citizens, of course. There's people that started small businesses and they got to make payrolls. So we, you know, we feel for you guys out there. We feel for everybody out there. We feel for ourselves out there. You know, a lot of people are struggling. Um, you know, but they'll they were gonna vote on the five hundred dollar billion stimulus plan which, did, which didn't include stimulus checks but it did uh look forward to help businesses schools and unemployment people you know the fpuc the lost wage assistance that really helped people who are actually suffering and unemployed right now uh but to provide 100 billion dollars to make schools safe for kids uh based on the fact that kids are back in school right now while we got this deadly disease going on but of course you understand because parents have to work um and school was a way of advancing you know their children's education while they work while they go out and make a living so everybody's got a job um and you know, to give funding for screening, tracing and vaccine development and circulation, you know, big, big things here that were proposed in this $500 billion plan, um, you know, expenses that need to be paid for, you know, that is the existing status right now of the stimulus plan and the second stimulus check and the settlements, you know, and what's happening right now. Now, you know, going into political news, President Trump is demanding, you know, he, he demanded the modification for the uh, debate and he wanted to just kind of, he, he asked, why don't we hammer Joe Biden on diplomacy? Because he's got a terrible record and he asked for uh you know there to be things going on with the mic so that while one's talking the other one can be heard uh you know president trump's campaign manager said that the commission must honor the long-standing custom of focusing on diplomacy for the third presidential debate you know so this is tradition and trump's project you know uh well his campaign they stated that both parties had already consented to concentrate on foreign policy for the last debate and that they needed to not switch topics to you know so near you know the debate you know what i'm saying so uh president President Trump was he feels as though he has a you know good record when it comes to diplomacy like he knows what to say uh when it comes to how he's going to handle our foreign allies and foreign enemies he feels as though he knows what to say uh and that Biden just has a terrible you know Joe Biden is you know desperate to prevent conversations about you know his foreign policy record and what he how he's going to handle foreign policy and, and as you, if you looked at the debate you know when the topic switched to foreign policy that's when Trump started asserting you know uh how Joe Biden is taking money from these foreign countries and he's gotten fat off of you know taking money from some of these dict dictatorial countries and the, the son has gotten rich by working with uh china corporations and you know that's when he, he went in and a lot of assertions were made on how you know each family is making their money and you know and it all centered around when the topic got onto that foreign you know foreign uh policy diplomacy so you know look at the debate you know tell me what you think you know this is a this is our soundboard man we're gonna discuss it how you feel you know of course we're not being political you know we being bi it's a bipartisan neighborhood and community right here man it's a closed community but it's, it's uh it's safe you know you're welcome to uh subscribe if you're new here it's free uh but how'd you feel when you saw that debate you know did you immediately just go against biden or did you immediately just go against trump by the way he was acting and how biden was acting how'd you feel you know trump's campaign you know has not threatened to take out of you know to take out the political debate you know they hadn't threatened to just pull out at the end if they said they weren't going to talk about foreign diplomacy but you know they were saying that uh the commission is pro-biden you know the commission that runs the debate that they're pro-biden and they already taken his side so they thought you know basically they're making that guy look bad, you know, because they taking his side. They so they wanted a um they wanted a woman um mediator there uh to you know see you know if it could just be a little bit the the debate could be a little bit more in pocket. So and it was in my opinion, you know. But tell me what you think. You know, during the first two minutes of each section, you know the initial um uh, 
not speaking, the individual not speaking, you know, they would have their mic muted. And so that was the new rule that was set into place. Now, you know, let's take a look at COVID-19 news, though. In Kansas, you know, there was a COVID-19 breakout. Did you hear that? In a retirement home that infected every resident. I mean, this was the first time that you had every resident. Well, one of the first times, because that did, did, did happen before, but one of the first times that every resident was affected in the, in the retirement home. So all those elderly people were infected. You know, of the 62 homeowners infected, 10 have passed away. Isn't that something? Man, it's a sad state of affairs. So our heart goes out to, and prayers go out to those families. And, you know, 10 passed away and one remained in the healthcare facility. You know, in the United States, 31 states are reporting a rise in infections. You know, now we reported 58,387 cases and 445 fatalities just last Monday. You know, this is according to the Johns Hopkins University tally. Um, you know, but that's your news for the day. You know, we touched on, we're going to, you know, get a little well-rounded as we touch on, you know, COVID, what's happening with COVID, especially what's happening with the debates. That was the last one. So, you know, this will lead us up to whoever you're going to vote for. Hey, whoever you're going to vote for. There's no, this ain't a judgment zone. Whoever you gonna vote for, you know, we bipartisan over here. Everyone's welcome, you know, but I'll keep you updated as I know more. Uh, if you found this report useful, you know, please subscribe. Um, you know, I'll save you the time and I'll provide you any, uh, any new news that I hear, you know, when appropriate. And um, I'll do it fast and concise, just as you've heard today. But, you know, thank you for welcome. You know, thank you for coming through to the stimulus check. Good news update, Lighthouse community right here. You know, thank you. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next video.